beloved brothers and sisters, the topic is uh, manifestation of one's desires. How to get your desires to be in manifestation? Yes. Um, what we have to understand is that uh, polarity is always at work. So we have where things uh, begin to function and then where they manifest. When you put the seed in the soil, the seed is hidden in the soil. And when it germinates, then it becomes visible again. So this is the principle that we use for manifestation. A part of you which is uh, hidden from um, the perceptions in this world, that is where we make the seeds. So our desires are like seeds. Every desire is a seed. And we need to give it the conditions. First, it has to be hidden. That is, it is not manifest yet. It is in the soil. It is within. And then we give it the conditions. You need to be focused. You, you need to be clear about what you desire. That means you have to visualize it. You have to uh, have it clear. That this is what I want. And then, uh, once you have done that, it means you are now ready to let it germinate. And there is some interesting thing. When something is moving into manifestation, something else is withdrawn from it. Otherwise, it will not manifest. What is it? We can see the example with um, how vapor changes to water and finally settles down as ice block. Within um, the changes, heat is withdrawn. When you withdraw heat from uh, vapor, then you get water. When you withdraw heat from water, then you get an uh, ice block. So manifestation, we always have to withdraw something from uh, what we have begun. And what is it? When you desire something, there is some kind of obsession, some kind of passion, some, some kind of force within it. You desire it. You yearn for it. But when manifestation is coming, you have, you have to withdraw the heat. You have to withdraw... Um, that force, that eagerness, that yearning has to be withdrawn slowly. Once you are withdrawing it, then it is moving from wanting to having. You see, the thing you want, you have a feeling, you want it, you want it, you want it. When it is coming into manifestation, you have to withdraw that 
uh, wanting and settle on having. The same way you withdraw heat from vapor, you get water, then you withdraw heat from water and then you get cold, you get a uh, ice block, it becomes a form. So whatever you have uh, created in the inner world, the passion, the eagerness, the, dis the strength or desire, the wanting, the yearning, all have to be slowed down finally because you are settling on having the thing. It is already manifesting. The reason sometimes people form things, they visualize, they imagine, they, they have intense desire, but it doesn't manifest, is because they maintain or they keep the yearning, the wanting. So it means you are keeping the heat, you see? So if the heat is on the water constantly, how will it turn into ice block? It cannot. See? So there is a change in approach. Initially, you begin with desire, strong desire for something. When it is coming into manifestation, you have to withdraw the desiring. Otherwise, you delay the manifestation. As you withdraw the desiring, then it's like you are having. You are having. Because if you have, you will not desire it. You have it. So desire and the having don't agree. Desire puts it in a distance, something you want. Now you want it to manifest here. So when you are withdrawing the wanting and the desiring, then you allow the thing to be here for it to manifest. This is what is called faith. See? Faith means you move from desiring the thing to happen to having it. You have it and no yearning for it anymore. That is when manifestation becomes a, a reality. This is very tricky. Most of the time, people want something and the strength of desire for it, they maintain the strength of desire and uh, the thing always stays in a distance. The thing is not uh, manifesting. But as long as you keep the intensity of desire, the thing keeps in a distance because what you are saying is that the thing has to come. It means it's not here. But as you withdraw the yearning heat, the heat of yearning, then uh, you can expect it and uh, put your attention on having it already. This is what is called faith. Where there is faith functioning, there is no more yearning. It means that thing is already accepted to be here. One has to pr practice it and it's amazing. If you practice this, a lot of things will work out so easily. Yes. Of course, you have to start with yearning, desiring, wanting. You begin like that, but you shouldn't keep it throughout. There are people they want something and even after they have gotten the thing, they still want the thing. 
and what happens? Um, they continue with anxiety and they don't become thankful because the thing they've gotten, they don't even notice it. They still look into the skies looking for it. Especially when it comes to the topic of money, people want it, they get it, but they don't cancel out wanting. You have to immediately realize that thing is here, be grateful, thankful you've gotten it at long last, be happy with it. Then something else becomes the next target, but not the same thing that you have gotten. If what you have already gotten becomes uh, something you are yearning for, it makes you poor, even though nature has made you rich. Yes. Like the other time I was saying, uh, poor only means you are in need. So if you have all the things around you and you need something, that means you are poor. Yes. Somebody is poor because he wants money and he's not getting it. Somebody is poor. He has money, but he wants child. He is not getting, so he's poor. Somebody has money, he has children, he has uh, no health, I mean good health. So he's looking for good health. So he's poor. You see, so we need to uh, appreciate what we have and God will give you more. Grace Spirit will give you more. So you start from what you have. And be thankful. When you are thankful, you'll be surprised. The other things, they begin to also change. See? Why do they change? When you are in a thankful state all the time, continuously, then it's a frequency. And things that will bring you more thankfulness will come and it will clear your problems away. But if you continue to think problem, 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 then you are not grateful. So uh, manifestation as a question here, uh, manifestation um, is uh, easier when you understand the principle. First realize uh, the seed has to be hidden. So where we prepare the thing we want is not something concrete. It is abstract. It is within yourself, your mind, your feelings. Feel for it. But as it germinates, as it begins to come into reality, you have to withdraw the yearning. And then it will speed up and manifest. If you don't withdraw the yearning, it will delay. It will delay the manifestation. So, thank you for this.